Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we are going to solve this given equation, square root of 1 minus x cube divided by 100 equals to 1 and a 2 third whole power negative 1. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution and let's focus on the right hand side of this equation. And here I have copied it down and now let's focus on this uh, mixed number we are going to convert it into an improper fraction so we can write this one three times one is three plus two is five so this could be written as five over three whole power negative one and now let's go ahead and use this basic rule so this fraction with negative power could be written as three divided by five and here i have replaced this right hand side by this simplified form over here now let's go ahead and take the square on both sides to undo this uh, square root i'm going to take square on the left and square on the right as well and on the left hand side this square and square root they undo each other so we got one minus x cubed divided by 100 equals to on the right hand side 3 square is 9 divided by 5 square is 25 and now we are going to move this negative x cube divided by 100 to the right hand side and the very same time we are going to move this fraction on the left hand side so therefore our equation is going to become 1 minus 9 divided by 25 equals to x cubed divided by 100 and now let's focus on this left hand side and here i have copied it down and if we simplify this thing we are going to get 16 divided by 25 so the left hand side is going to be simplified as 16 divided by 25 equals to x power 3 divided by 100 now let's go ahead and multiply both sides by 100 to isolate x cube and here 100 and 100 they cross each other out and the left hand side 25 goes into 100 four times so therefore our x power 3 value is going to be 64 and now let's focus on this 64 64 could be written as 4 power 3 so therefore we can write our equation as x power 3 equals to 4 power 3 and now let's take the cube root on both sides on this side and this side as well and we can see that cube and cube root undo each other so we are going to get x equals to 4 as our solution so thus our solution turns out to be x equal to 4 thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye